Remember to focus on your breathing, any muscle tension. London psychologists are using virtual reality to help people deal with their phobias. In this case, the fear of getting into this. Out of ten, how anxious do you feel? Uh, about a seven. Helena, just take the mask off for a moment and um, tell us how that felt. A bit bizarre. <laughs> uh, it's so real. Like, it feels exactly like you're there. And then, especially in the smallest one, we're just confined in this horrible space. <laughs> is among the most demanding challenges a human being can experience, even for the best prepared military personnel. Reports say that one in five Iraq and Afghanistan veterans have been diagnosed with some level of post-traumatic stress, but how to help is not always clear. Virtual reality is a way to immerse people in alternative worlds. So we use goggles that transport people to an entirely different universe, a different planet, a different environment, places that we've never seen or been before, maybe even never imagined before. We meet patients where they are. We come to their hospital room and uh, we fit them with the goggles, make sure they're, they're snug and comfortable. And then we bring them through the video experiences. One video brings people to Iceland, where they get in a helicopter and they can explore these unbelievable topographies. The second video is an art studio, which is an opportunity for patients to sit back and draw a painting. The third video is great for people that love the water and love the sea. They can swim with dolphins and with uh, sea creatures like uh, blue whales. It takes about 20 minutes of time and then afterwards we sit down and find out what they thought of it and spend a little time learning from it. Virtual reality is a little bit like a, like a spotlight. The uh, experience of uh, the mind sort of being in this environment when it's uh, immersed in this sort of peaceful, positive environment, it's almost like the rest of your experiences are unable to be noticed. Because it recruits so much of the brain to focus on that spotlight that everything outside of that environment falls to the wayside during that experience of virtual reality. Cedar sinai here in L.A. is one of a handful of hospitals experimenting with a surprising new treatment for people suffering acute pain. I wonder if we could start by asking how long you've been here at Cedar sinai We are very lucky. We travel to so many places all over the world. London, Paris, Cuba, Guam, Japan, China, South America, Ecuador. This comes from Bangkok, Thailand. It's leather with, with the seeds. 